Hi, I'm artist Lillian Gray and today's lesson is all about measuring the human body. How do we decide what is the correct proportions? Now, you know, people argue about this. Some say it's six and three quarters of a head is the length of a human body. Others say it's eight, others say it's ten. What on earth is the correct method? Stay tuned and find out. So, how do we measure the human body? How do we make sure that our proportions are 100% correct? Well, you know, things have changed uh, a lot quite during the history of art. So, for now, we are using the head. In the past, some people even used hands and feet. But that didn't really work out that well. So, we're sticking with the head. So, what's up with this word, the cannon? The six and three quarter cannon, the eight head cannon, the ten head cannon. What does it all mean? Cannon is simply a fancy Latin word meaning a rule or a law. So now who on earth is correct and which method is more correct than the other? Well, let me explain. As an artist, you have a toolbox and you need to know when you need which tool for which job. So first, you need to understand the various canons, the various rules or methods out there to measure the human body. And for what do we use them? A lot of people in real life range in measurement from six heads and three quarters to eight. And it could plot anywhere in between. So when you want to depict real life, there's really no set rule because we all actually differ. Now, way back, the ancient Greeks developed this rule of the eight heads because it's wonderful to work with and you don't end up dividing everything in quarters and halves and eighteenths of a section. It's just a really simple, easy method to use. And the Greeks' entire objective was to idealize the body. What was the ideal Greek? What was the ideal athletic figure and you know, almost godlike, comparing humans to gods. So they would extend the legs a bit so that the whole body could fit into eight heads. Eventually, the ancient Greeks were conquered by the Roman Empire, and we had the Roman Empire, and that eventually became Christian. And when the church started taking over, new art rules were implemented. The church deemed all the naked classical statues as immoral and they made new art rules. No statues were allowed and they had formulas for how to depict baby Jesus and Maria. So we get a lot of baby Jesuses with six packs and a lot of people pointing to the sky. Eventually, after a thousand years of boring stuff, we rediscover the ancient classics and the city of Florence does an entire lot to do this. The Medici family actually funds the Renaissance. They send out people to go and find old classical texts. They discover all these beautiful, beautiful statues. And they go, oh my word, what have we been doing? We've lost so much art and beauty. Let's restore the classical ideas. And that is called the Renaissance, the rebirth. And they embrace the eight-head canon, like the classical Greeks and like the ancient Romans. So we get the school of Florence. Now, since Florence is the birth of the Renaissance, it's kind of important. And a lot of art schools follow the ideals and rules of the school of Florence, such as the eight head canon. Let's fast forward a bit and we get to a lot of modern culture and people wanting to market fashion and garments. And they need models to be even taller so the garments have more space to shine. So fashion designers come up with this idea, let's elongate the body even more. Let's make it 10 heads while we're at it. And they elongate the body, which gives us these crazy Photoshop alien looking people, but it's kind of beautiful. I like using it when I'm designing characters and doing some fantasy work. When do you need which tool? Ask yourself, do I want to depict real life? Do I want to depict Renaissance ideals? Or do I want to showcase some beautiful fashion? And that's how you decide what you want to do. 
For this course, we will be following the eight head canon because that is what most artists use in fine art to do figure drawing and it's really easy to use as described previously. So stick with me and I'll make you famous. Head on over to our blog and get the printout that you can download for free. And with that, you can practice the eight head canon. Make sure you can recite it out of your head so you know exactly where is what in the human body. Okay, great stuff. So now you can measure and make sure that your body proportions are correct. Remember when you're sitting in a coffee shop or you watch a different YouTube video and you go, oh my word, Lillian spoke so much nonsense. Remember, there are many ways to skin a cat and there's lots of tools in your toolbox. I'm artist Lillian Gray. If you've learned something, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It helps us create awesome content, developing more and more courses. And let's social, let's meet on social media. Stay tuned for the next lesson in the figure drawing course.